Hey everyone, I just wanted to make an announcement. My new channel, Stephen Flores Travel, is now live on YouTube. This is a side project I've been working on for quite a while and I hope you guys will go out there and support it. You can expect new travel related videos to come out every Tuesday and Friday. And if you want to subscribe to that channel, the link will be down below. So yeah, if you want to get to know me a bit more, get some travel tips, see some vlogs, all of that, don't forget to click the link down below and subscribe. Thanks so much guys, now let's move on with the video. Welcome back everyone to another video. What is up my realists, it's Steven and welcome back to another Thursday video. I hope y'all are doing great. I have literally just been staying home like a bum this entire time. But you know, that's also just me trying not to catch the coronavirus. So I'm just here right now. Anyway, this video that I have for you guys today is probably going to be very controversial. I've been thinking about making this video for a very long time and I only got around to doing it now. Partly because I didn't think anybody would be interested but partly also because I just feel like I have so many opinions about this that I could not just keep it to myself. And as you can probably tell from the title, it's about High School Musical. If you don't know what High School Musical is, you're one of three kinds of people. One, you're living under a rock. Two, you're over 40. Or three, you're under 10. But for everybody who's not included in that spectrum, you probably know what High School Musical is. It is the musical series that define my generation. I remember listening to that soundtrack when I was in like the third grade and just being like so into every single aspect of it. But yes, High School Musical had a huge impact on so many of our lives, but I thought I would make this video a little bit more controversial. I'm gonna be talking about why High School Musical 3 is the best High School Musical and why High School Musical 2 is the worst High School Musical. I'm not gonna be talking about High School Musical 1 because that's kind of the one in the middle that, you know, it's fine, it's not the greatest, it's not the worst, so it's kind of just there. But I will be talking about the other two, but before we get to that, I just want to say if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below. Also, don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms at Steven Flores for Facebook and at Stephen J. Flores for Twitter and Instagram. And if you like this video, want to see more videos like this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for me, will ya? So yeah, without further ado, let's move on with the video. So we're gonna start off with why High School Musical 2 is the worst High School Musical. Now I have five reasons why and I bet y'all are gonna agree with me at the end of these five reasons. First of all, the songs are the worst in the entire bunch. I mean Fabulous is just like a no bearing song that doesn't advance character or plot at all. Like we all knew Sharpay already liked Fabulous things, why did they have to like tell us that in song? It made no sense. Also Bet On It is like a masterpiece in cringeworthiness. You cannot tell me you watch that and not cringe. Like, like every single action Zac Efron does there makes me want to jump off a cliff. And if you compare, like, do you know how, like, there are certain songs that appear in all three movies? Like, how there's always a big finale song, how there's always a Troy and Gabriella song before the big finale song, how there's, like, a Troy and Gabriella song that happens, like, earlier in the movie for, for High School Musical wanted to start of something new. For High School Musical 3, it was right here, right now, and can I have this dance? But for High School Musical 2, it was You Are the Music in Me. And that pales in comparison to, like, the other ones from the other movies. So, yes, those were two reasons in one. There are cringeworthy scenes and the songs are literally the worst. Third is that there are no real stakes. I mean what's the stake here? You're gonna win some trophy from some country club? Like who even cares about that in the real world? There was literally nothing at stake there if you think about it. Really think about it. They all wanted the Star Dazzle Award for what reason? It's literally a plastic trophy given by like incredibly biased people that holds no real significant weight in the real world. I don't understand why they made it such a big deal. Also how the also I'm gonna mention this later, but it was so weird for me how they constructed their friendship at stake plotline. Like Troy was just getting nice things, okay? Why would that threaten your friendship? Fourth, Sharpay deserves so much better. She was such like a strong presence in the first movie and a strong presence in the last movie where she, where she wasn't really the main antagonist, but it was more like she was like a catalyst for change and everything like that. But my God, in this movie, they just made her like a shallow person who flirts with someone even though they have a girlfriend already. They characterized her so bad in this one. Like they made her seem like a vengeful full seductress or something. And now the final reason why I hate this movie is because Troy's friends were so crappy. First of all, the guy got you all jobs so that you could all earn a living. How do you repay him? When he starts getting good stuff, like when stuff starts going his way, you kind of like penalize him and shun him for everything good that's happening in his life. Sure, Sharpay's giving him nice things, but why do you think it's like threatening your friendship in any way? Shouldn't you, as real good friends, be happy for him that he was getting good things? I mean, if my friend was getting like basketball scholarships for his future, I would be happy for him. I would not be jealous 
or be angry that my friend is being successful. Unlike these whiny b****s who thought Troy was losing touch with them. Well, b she was not losing touch with them. He was just doing what he was doing to get his future on track, okay? Anybody can understand that they want he wants a good future for himself. Why are you gonna make him feel bad for wanting something good in his future and for getting something good for his future? This is especially for Chad because Chad was acting like such a whiny b It's like, oh my god, my best friend is getting opportunities. He must hate me. Like, what even is the correlation there? Are you just jealous that he's getting good things in his life? You know, I bet if you got good things, Troy would 100% accept you and like cheer you on, okay? But yeah, here you are degrading his name all because what, you're jealous? Are you jealous that Sharpay is giving him more attention? Did you want Sharpay's attention? You know if you wanted Sharpay's attention, you should work for it or ask. I mean, it seems like they're all friends anyway. You don't gotta be mad at someone just because they're being successful, okay? That just makes you look like a whiny b and that ends my rant for High School Musical 2. Now let's move on to something more lighthearted and fun, which is called High School Musical 3. I again have five reasons as to why High School Musical 3 is the best High School Musical. First off, the high quality direction and production. You could tell that they were given a whole huge budget for this. I mean, the first scene alone where they're saying, this is the last time to get it right. This is the last chance to make it on that. That whole scene was really, really good. And it just seemed like they had a lot more budget in it. And come on, like, can I have this dance was so good. The whole production number at the end where they went through all the songs again was great. The last number was really well done. Literally everything about this movie was so well produced. Next, it has the best group of songs because not only did they give us one Troy and Gabriella song. They gave us like two or three Troy and Gabriella, three, three Troy and Gabriella songs and all three are great. Right here, right now, classic. Can I have this dance? Makes me cry. All I wanna do is be with you, hell to the frick yes. And not just that, it has the best like Troy hating himself song. If that was Get Your Head in the Game in the first movie and Bet on It in the second movie, Scream in the third movie is the best. Also the Troy and Chad song, Boys Are Back, come on. I mean, who did not smile at that song? Plus that slow rendition of we're all in this together pretty good and of course it has the best Sharpay song too the amount of production values in that one song was like outstandingly good and yeah everything about the songs was just great next up they had great secondary characters and what I mean by that is that the secondary characters here you know the people outside the main six actually had good storylines like number one Kelsey she had a great storyline the three people that they got to like supposedly replace Troy and Chad and all of that you know I think his name was Rocket Man or something like that and the girl from England Oh, come on. That was pretty good. I usually say that movies and TV shows live and die by their secondary characters and HSM 3 has really good ones. Next, there were big moments for everyone. Sharpay got her big moment at the end when she usurped that girl. Kelsey and Ryan got their big moment when they both got the scholarship. Chad got his big moment with that song with Troy. Literally, everybody stepped up for this movie and it was so great to see. And lastly, it has the best villain of the three movies. The first one, the villain was kind of Sharpay and Mrs. Darbus and all of that. The second one was it was Sharpay, but the third one, it was really good. It was dreams and time. The last movie showed us that the biggest obstacles in life can be that the wrong things are happening at the wrong place at the wrong time. And some dreams that conflicts with what we really want, such as when Troy really wanted to stay with Gabriella, but he also wanted to do the theater scholarship. It's just such a realistic portrayal of the struggle that kids go through when they're trying to pick out and plan their dreams, but they also have these other commitments that they want to stick to. I just found it really good how they portrayed that, and I think everybody should actually appreciate how much thought went into that. Like how the thing that created tension was their own wants and their own dreams and that's what makes really good stories. So yes, that's the end of the video guys. What are your opinions about the High School Musical movies? I wanna hear about them, comment them down below. And yes, I will see you guys next week for our next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe and like button down there. My last videos are to my left and to my right down the description on my social media stuff. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Until next time guys, see ya.